Welcome back, everyone. We are again in Frontera's Tetch Kitchen above Frontera Grill. Rick, yes. we've got a special guest today. We do, and it's somebody that I've known since we started our restaurant. This is Priscilla Satkoff from Salpicon, and do you know that she was one of the first employees that worked for Frontera? No kidding. Absolutely. She wow. started with us one month after we opened Frontera, 28 years ago. She was my first assistant. She was the first server in Topolobampo. I mean, we, we go back a long, oh, yes. long way. And how long has Celtic yes. been around? 20 years. Now. 20, 20 years. 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> she really and she worked with us for seven and a half years, Seven right? and a half years. And then, oh. then uh, left to open her own place. That's yes. great. So welcome to the show. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, it's great to so cook great. with you again. Thank so you, Rick. Cool. Oh, it's amazing. I can't tell you. place is beautiful. Yes. You look great, of course. Thank, Thank you, you, Steve, for oh, having me. Oh, it's so great me. to have you here. So today's uh, ingredient challenge is <laughs> something you should know a little bit about. Right. It's poblanos. Yes. Poblano chiles. I'm really happy to be sharing this. This cooking segment with Something Priscilla. that we grew up with, but also it's a staple of Mexican food. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So why don't you explain the rules? Okay. Well, we've got five ingredients plus the chiles, and we don't count oil. We don't count salt and pepper. Okay. So that's it. 15 minutes to cook, and we hope that we're going to come out with some things that our, our listeners and our viewers will love to make at home. Oh, my God. It's going to be so much fun. But super easy for folks at home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Oh, All right. Ready? Well, okay. you can't get too complicated in 15 minutes. That's right. Okay? You can't. So, so the clock is going to start right now. So 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yours. okay. So tell me a little bit about your strategy, Priscilla. What okay, well, thinking? I oh have some gosh. chile poblanos here, of course, okay. because it's the main, main ingredient. I have two different techniques for when I'm uh, peeling and debating um, chiles. In this case, because I'm going to stuff them, I'm going to make a, a small cut to You're remove these stuff seeds. Them? Yes, I, yes I. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> and she's even, getting fancy you here, even, okay? You don't even know in what. It's something amazing. It's a dish that actually I grew up with in Mexico City. My mom used to make this all the time because it's so easy and so homey. And believe it or not, it's like um, like ingredients for, for Mexican uh, food, but not really Mexican. You are going to see a little bit of the French influence right here. So I make an French incision. French influence. Can you believe that I have, I, I have uh, Herbes of Provence? Which is no way. Yes, <laughs> yes. In Spanish, hierbas <laughs> finas. Hierbas. What did you just yeah. do? Oh, I just cut the, uh, the, I make a, an incision to the, in the, in the poblano chile, and I remove the seeds and the veins. And you put it on the stove. On top of the, of the f uh, flame right now. Okay. And I'm going to uh, roast them there. Has, okay, the, Rick, it's Rick. a very quick technique to do that. Okay, and Rick, what are you doing? I've chopped up some white onion. The classic onion of Mexico, and I'm going to cook it in a little bit of butter. But the first thing that I did was to put these chilies on because they are going to take the longest time. So I'm roasting them directly over the gas, and we'll see how far we get into this. Priscilla asked me before we started, you're going to roast the chilies? And I said, yes, I'm going to roast the chilies. So we'll see. That should take about 10 of the 15 minutes of this wow. thing. Okay, so but then I'm making a soup so I can blend them in right at the last minute. Okay, so we'll really be watching our timing then. Okay. Yes. Because they've got to be blackened on all sides. Yeah. They do, and uh, well, we'll see how far we get. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I so think you're going to do three of them? I'm going to just make three for the staff and for oh, us to taste. Oh, good. Okay. So we don't have to take just tiny little Thumbs bites up around today. the entire room here. Okay. But yes. also what I was going to mention about the technique that I use, before I start roasting the chiles, I actually remove the seeds. The, the technique that Rick is doing is actually roasting them with all the, uh, the seeds and veins because he's going to blend them, I believe, yes. or he's going right. to chop them so it doesn't... Right really matter. This so. is so great. So rarely do we get a guest that actually knows the ins and outs of Rick Bayless. <laughs> yeah. Knows his strategies. I'm loving this. I'm not yeah, like, have, you noticed, have you noticed how quiet I'm being mm. in this whole thing? I'm yeah. just letting Priscilla do it all. <laughs> yeah. Now uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm using green beans. You can use the uh, regular green beans or the uh, the herico birds, which are the uh, French green beans. And, I, and I'm cleaning the ends. And I'm going to cut them in like a one inch uh, size because I'm going to stuff the poblanos with. It's with so funny, the table. body language is interesting for this challenge because Priscilla is just very comfortable right now, even though she's in, you know, <laughs> not her home turf, so to speak. Rick, meanwhile, he's got the two chilies going on, he's trying to get them all black, and he's working his onions and his <laughs> butter. Uh, it's an interesting uh, body language It is, here. it is, yeah. but I have to tell you something. Rick makes everybody to feel so comfortable. They, this is home, so it's like, you know, we are cooking. That's right. When but Mexican, you've never cooked up here, you. as long as you've no, known No, I've him. never been here. I just love this place. That's great, that's <laughs> great. Okay, so um, what do you do with the green beans? Now I just uh, clean the green, green beans, 
and I actually cut them like a one inch uh, size mm -hmm. because I'm going to mix it with some tuna and I'm going to stuff the chili. So we don't want the whole green beans, okay. uh, like very big ones. So Rick is adding what, chicken some stock? chicken stock, yes. Just that's gonna right, be out the the box, right out of the box, not right out of the box. How much did you add roughly to the onions and butter? Um, about a half of a quart. There are a couple of cups, and now I'm putting in some corn, and I'm just using frozen corn. Again, this yeah. is when I'm cooking at home. This is what it would be like, um, unless it was corn season. And I okay. always do this this soup at home when it's corn season. But then I would have gone to the the. Uh, farmer's market and gotten it. We're a third of the way through already, so 10 minutes left. Ooh, How are you ooh, feeling? Yes. Exciting. I'm, I'm doing okay. better because I'm getting Poblano's close to done with these chilies and I was too. worried about exactly. that. Me too, I think I'm yes. doing the same uh -huh. right now. They're now, blackened to your... Uh, they're, like they're getting close for me. I've okay. got one here that's a little further along than the others, but I will say, that there, some of our listeners and viewers might not know why we're roasting them, and we both do that sort of automatically. It's because a poblano has a really tough skin and you want to get it off of there. Okay. And the other thing about the poblano is that its flavor really blossoms when it's cooked. And we should also point out for folks listening to us um, on our iTunes or SoundCloud or Stitcher, you can go to our YouTube channel, The Feed Podcast, and watch this entire competition. Or if you're just watching us on video, please download the free podcast. Go to iTunes or SoundCloud and uh, listen to the feed podcast. About eight minutes to go now, nine minutes to go. Okay. Okay. So I what I did right it. now, I actually finished roasting the poblano chiles. And you cover them. I cover them. Bowl. You can cover them with something. In this case, I'm using like a plastic bag. Okay. You know, and I'm going to let them steam for a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to toast some almonds. In a dry skillet, I'm going to put a little bit of almonds. I'm going to toast it. Okay. And how uh, long, and again, how do you know you're going to add them to a really hot pan, it looks like? Yes. Because so you how know, long in the pan? Because it's very, very quick, like 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Okay. It goes very quick. And I'm boiling now uh, my green beans. Okay. Also. You're boiling them in the Salted water. water. Salted water. Yes. Okay. And now I'm and so going to toast So we're going to just toast those for a little bit. Yes. And I want to come back to Rick's cutting board because he's really working fast and furious now oh my God, Rick. on the poblanos. What have you done? Okay, well, I've just cut them in half and then I'm cutting the seed pod out of each half. Now, don't... we. I shouldn't be t doing this in front of people, but um, this is like cheater version of okay. something here. Usually you let them cool down and then you rub the skins off of them <laughs> and you tear them open and you know, all that sort of stuff. Well, I'm working really quickly, so I'm gonna show you how I would do it if I was under a lot of time constraint. Then I'm gonna take these pieces now that are starting to cool down a little bit, these halves without the seed pod in them, and I'm gonna rinse them real quickly underneath cool water to cool them down a bit and take that blackened skin off of them. Okay, and Priscilla is finishing toasting her almonds over Fin there. Pretty much done, and also I put like a canned tuna oh. in this really bowl. Canned tuna? Canned tuna. Okay, with? I put a little bit of Mexican cream. Okay. You can use Mexican cream or you can use creme fraiche. And I season that with herbs of Provence. Oh, okay. That doesn't seem very Mexican. No Mexican at all, but okay. believe me, it works. It's very, actually very to, delicious. Seven minutes to go. Rick is rinsing his poblanos. This was just canned tuna packed in uh, oil or packed in water? It's either one. You can use okay. either one. I believe right. there was enough. So I'm going to check the poblanos right now, and I'm going to see if they are easy to peel. And one technique that I use, I, actually something that I use is I use like a zester, like this for, this is for oranges or Take for... orange zest off. Yes, yeah, orange okay. zest I mean. You use that for your roasted poblanos? You, well, I don't want to burn myself. Oh, okay. So then I'm toasting, finishing off my um, almonds. They're going to be ready in any minute. And I just started scraping. Oh, look at that. That chiles. is a great technique. You taught Rick this, obviously. <laughs> no, I should have you it. kidding? I'm over here <laughs> in a bucket of water. <laughs> he is really, he's, let's check it out. So I'm look just feeling. <laughs> look at how nervous he is. He's really working, he's working it. Yeah. I want to see what Rick is doing. So you've, you've gotten all the black off, yeah? Yes. And well, most of the black. Right? I actually don't do it completely because I like the little bit of char flavor. Um, that's sort of the kind of hallmark of my food is it's pretty rustic like that. So I'm just roughly chopping now the cleaned pieces of poblano. Okay. And I'm gonna put them into the blender jar 
to blend them smooth. And I'm saving some out that I can use as a garnish here. So all this poblano will go in here with um, the ingredients that I've got uh, in the pot here, which the is corn. the cook, cooked um, onion in butter with corn and the broth. I love Priscilla's technique. Five minutes to go. We are two thirds of the way through. Five minutes, okay. Uh, that, that zester is a great tip. She's straining her green beans over She's there. Straining right bit. here. Yep. Just, just let them sit for a few just minutes. Let them sit, in the okay. meantime, I'm going to go to back to peeling your poblano. Rich peeling pureed my poblano. poblanos with the corn and onions and stock. Beautiful color. Yes, it That's is. That's a beautiful color. So he's gonna. You, so you saved one poblano to chop up. One half of a one poblano half. that okay. I'm just gonna add in little dice into the soup for. And I've got some croutons, some cream to add wow. to it. Mm. In Mexico, when you talk about poblanos, everybody thinks about cream because it's a match made in heaven. So you notice that Priscilla used a little cream in hers. I've got the same kind of Mexican crema, uh, sort of creme fraiche style. I'm surprised that she went with tuna. That's a really Oh, but it's a, no, it's a very common thing to cook oh. with in Mexico City, especially, right? Well, yes, because also it's very easy. It's very you easy. Know, yeah. When you have a family and you are working or something, you can make this ahead of time. Uh -huh. You've added the little cooked pieces of green bean now green to bean. your tuna and crema. And crema, and, and then I'm going to add a little bit of the uh, Almonds, toasted almonds, wow, that's and really mix the whole thing. God, both these dishes look great. I'm seasoning this with more herbs of Provence. Herbs of Provence, three thing. minutes to go. Three minutes to go. You guys are both doing great. I think you're very close to plating. I think now, Priscilla, close. if you want to just plate one, that's fine too. Okay. Just for the, for the camera and that for us to be taste. Because we've only got about two and a half minutes to go. <laughs> I Rick just opened my poblano chili and I see they have a little bit of seeds now, but I just removed them all. Took all the seeds in yes. the veins. Yes. Okay. So it's clean on the inside. And, and are you just you're just adjusting for taste now? Yeah, I added a little bit of cream to the pot, but not too much because actually that corn and the onion blended in there will add, give a very creamy texture to this soup. So I just added a tiny bit of cream and now in go the chopped pieces of poblano. So your total poblano investment here is about is two. two or three? Two. two. I okay. used two. Yes. Two of them. And you okay. have corn, and how many more ingredients do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Are you checking up on me to see if I actually did it right? I see the croutons, and I, I see yeah, that. Well, I think I've sometimes got the right they number. Borrow, there's a borrowing that goes on sometimes <laughs> from both sides, sometimes. so it depends who's here. Yeah, sometimes we borrow each other's ingredients, So right? I just finished uh, uh, stuffing the, the chile poblano. I'm plating it right now, and I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of more cream just for presentation. Okay, a little more cream for presentation. Rick is adding a little bit of cream for presentation, it looks like, <laughs> and some crunchy croutons. Yeah, sort of and I think our time, 10 seconds to go. All right. And you I'll both have time. finished. Wow, very I'll impressive. That. Beautiful. You must, uh, you must have done this before, the two of you. <laughs> <That's> fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Well done. So Beautiful plates. Um, let's break out the Instagram. I love the colors, first of all. I think we should try our guest first. Yes, let's do okay. that. Yeah. But I'm going to help us to taste it because I'm going to like move a little bit over here so that we can cut down okay. through it. Okay, because we want to get some of the filling but also some of the poblano on the outside. It's, hey, it's a poblano yeah, challenge. Yeah, of course, of course. Okay, so that's back there. Oh, now you I'm going to let, here's a fork. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Take a little tip. I want to make sure I get a little bit of everything. There we go. Me too. Mm. I'm really looking forward to this. Oh, I love the tuna. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. It's very subtle too. It's mm. a very subtle dish. It's not, it's not hitting you over the head with poblano, but it's a little bit of that vegetal flavor. I love that. I love the herbs in there. The herbs I think they're really delicious, and they're slightly yes. unexpected because it's more of the European herbs, like you say, yeah. and mm. so you recognize that. But then you got the Mexican chile, pa chile poblano. Um, gorgeous with the, and the crunchy green beans and crema and all that. And it's the almonds. Thank you. The green beans and yeah. almonds. Yeah. That's really nice. That's great. Really nice. I, like Super Thank you. Thank I can't you. believe I could do that in 15 minutes. You could no. do that right. in 15 minutes if you have that, right. that little thing to it's clean so the chili with. The little zester. Okay, <laughs> uh -huh. now the soup. Okay, let's try right. the soup. We'll need a spoon for that one. Make sure we get a little bit of the crema and oh. a little bit of... And there, I have more of those croutons, too, if anybody wants more of the croutons, because that, mm. to me, makes it really, really okay, good. No, thanks. Oh, that's really good. Help yourself, Priscilla. Thank you. Oh, the corn, the chicken stock, it's, it's delicious. I don't... Do you really need to have all that crema mm. on top? I mean, it's wonderful. No, you don't have you to. You really don't. It's gorgeous. This would be that great. was for the Instagram photo. This would be great at O'Hare. 
I think you know that would be like anywhere. We, we do, do something like that at O'Hare. You do a sopa azteca and you do a corn, or you do do a corn poblano. Corn, poblano. It's, so it's more, delicious. it's more oh. on the corn side. Yeah. Because this was a poblano challenge. Mm. I really wanted to focus more on the poblano than the corn, but that's really easy to make and oh, it's so good. That's when really good. When you're looking good. for a quick and super delicious soup, that's the one I go to. Two easy dishes. Recipes are going to be on our yeah. Facebook page, the Feed Podcast. Thank you, Rick. Oh, video oh, also on oh, uh, YouTube. So uh, feed Podcast. Priscilla, Priscilla thank, thank you so much you. for coming. Always, it was thank so you, my nice pleasure. to cook, and so cook with you again. Yeah, I was so excited. Really, really thank wonderful. you so much.